It has been more than 20 years since a tidal wave of violence crashed over Liverpool as suspected rivalries between two notorious crime families reached boiling point. It left three men dead, communities devastated and the cases still unsolved. This is the story of the quote tit for tat murders. The first explosion of violence occurred on May 19, 2001 when 34-year-old Stephen Lawler was gunned down in cold blood as he left a party near his home in Nedley. Peter Clark, a 23-year-old former soldier, was accused of the crime, which was believed to be motivated by, quote, ill feeling between the Clarks and the Lawlers. Both families were considered big players in the door wars of pub and club security. As Peter was hauled into custody to await his day in court, Another murder shocked the city. His brother Ian Clark, a 32-year-old father of three, was shot in his car as he stopped at a red light at the junction of Rocky Lane and Belmont Road, Shoebrook, on September 8, 2001. He suffered up to seven gunshot wounds and battled for five days on a life support machine. Gunshots rang out yet again on the streets of Liverpool just one month later, when Stephen Lawler's brother Tony was killed in yet another suspected revenge attack. The 45-year-old had been outside some shops on Middlemass Hay, Netherley, on October the 11th, when a gang of armed men pulled up in a transit van and one of them opened fire. The murder was witnessed by his mother, Maisie Lawler, but the killer was never caught. Maisie, who died in 2013, told the Echo in November 2001, quote, I am still grieving for Stevie, but now it is double the pain. I keep getting flashbacks of it, seeing Tony jumping as he tried to get out of the way of the bullets. The thing that hurts me the most is that after they shot him again and again and again, one of them leaned over and looked right at him to check he was dead. To this day, all three gangland killings remain unsolved. Peter Clark was found guilty of Stephen's murder in December 2001, but was freed after a retrial at Manchester Crown Court. Meanwhile, the murders of both Ian Clark and Tony Lawler remain shrouded in mystery. Detective Superintendent Sue Coombs said, quote, These cases are subject to a regular review by the Serious Crime Review Unit, and murder investigation is never closed, and although time has passed since these murders, there continues to be advancements in forensic technology. It is not too late for anyone with information, however small, to come forward and speak to us. Despite being acquitted of murder, Peter Clark soon found himself behind bars again, this time for a massive drugs conspiracy. Clark was found to be shipping hire cars full of cocaine and cannabis from Merseyside to Northern Ireland with the help of his brother Stephen. They had also amassed a huge stash of weapons, including an Ingram machine pistol, Glock handguns, a sawn-off pump-action shotgun, machetes, silencers and body armour. The notorious gangsters were jailed for more than 26 years combined in November 2013. 